Is it ever justifiable to commit a crime for personal freedom? This question beckons us to ponder the blurred lines between right and wrong. Crime and morality, two facets of our society, often find themselves in a tumultuous dance, spinning in circles of judgment. Yet, what happens when one's quest for autonomy leads to the shadowy path of transgressions? Now let's delve into the life of Lydia Sherman, who challenged these norms in the most sinister ways. Born in the 19th century, Lydia Sherman's life started ordinarily enough. Growing up in a modest household, Lydia was no stranger to the struggles of everyday life. As a young girl she was known for her charm and wit, qualities that would later play a significant role in her sinister endeavors. In her early 20s, Lydia stepped into the world of matrimony, a decision that would mark the beginning of a chilling turn in her life. Over time, her seemingly regular existence began to unravel, revealing a disturbing pattern of behavior. With each passing year, Lydia's life took on a more troubling dimension, as she navigated the complexities of marriage and motherhood. Behind the veil of an average wife and mother, Lydia harbored a dark secret. Her domestic life was not as it appeared, it was a stage for a series of heinous acts that would shake the foundations of her world, but as we would soon discover, her ordinary life was a facade for a much darker reality. Behind closed doors, Lydia Sherman had become the Darby Poisoner. A woman living in the 19th century, she had found power in the most lethal of ways. Arsenic, a potent and silent killer, was her weapon of choice. The victims of this deadly dance were those closest to her, three husbands and a tragic group of seven children. Each death was a strategic move, a morbid game of chess where Lydia was the sole player, and the prize was control. Control over her life and the finances that came with each ill-fated union. But what drove a woman to such extremes? Was it desperation or cold calculation? Or perhaps a toxic blend of both, a cocktail as lethal as the arsenic she used? Lydia had turned her domestic life into a crime scene, a murder mystery scripted in her own hand. But as with all crimes, the truth eventually came to light. Lydia's pattern of poisoning was eventually uncovered, leading to her arrest and trial in the 1870s. The dark veil of suspicion was finally lifted, revealing a chilling tale of deceit and murder. Lydia's trial was a spectacle that gripped the nation. The public both horrified and fascinated by the woman now known as the Derby Poisoner. The evidence against her was overwhelming. The arsenic, her weapon of choice, had left a deadly trail that led straight to Lydia. The court found her guilty of the gruesome murders of three husbands and seven children. Her motive? An unsettling desire for control and financial gain. The sentence was severe, as severe as her crimes. Lydia was condemned to spend the rest of her life behind bars. The public breathed a sigh of relief as justice was served. And so, Lydia Sherman's reign of terror ended within the cold walls of a prison. Lydia Sherman left a chilling legacy that continues to echo in crime history. Her heinous acts, executed with a chillingly calm demeanor, sent shockwaves through society, leading to a heightened sense of fear and mistrust within households. The poisoner in the kitchen, the murderer in the family, such became the nightmares of the Victorian era, largely thanks to the dreadful tale of Lydia Sherman. Her story, a macabre cocktail of domesticity and death, was lapped up by the media of the day. Newspapers with their sensational headlines painted a vivid picture of the Derby Poisoner, stoking the fires of fear and fascination in equal measure. Her infamous nickname, forever etched in the annals of crime, served as a chilling reminder of the danger that could lurk in the most unexpected of places. Over the years, Lydia's story has found its way into popular culture, featuring in books, films, and television series. Her narrative, while disturbing, offers a grim glimpse into the human capacity for evil in the pursuit of control and freedom. It's a tale that continues to captivate, to horrify, and to serve as a cautionary tale. Lydia Sherman, the Darby Poisoner, serves as a grim reminder of the lengths one might go to for control and freedom,